The Department of Workforce Development says it takes seven days to receive unemployment benefits after you first apply, but that timeline could be a little bit longer depending on how long it takes to process a drug test. And at least one official says that time could be detrimental to the families in need. I think it's the difference between having a place to stay and eviction. I think it's the uh, difference between having food on your table and, and starving. Representative David Bowen is already nervous for his community, and drug testing isn't something Governor Tony Evers is taking lightly either. We need more detail from the federal government before we go down that road. The last thing I ever want is to take away uh, the ability to have a safety net for people that need it. Less than 1% of the individuals that are tested actually end up coming up positive, which means a vast majority of folks are not abusing uh, those substances. But those in favor of drug testing say this could help an ongoing drug problem in Wisconsin. The point of having the drug screening is that first step to get you help. So then you can find that independence to having a job. One more hoop for people to jump through. Victor Forberger, a labor and employment law attorney, feels this would infringe on people's rights and would also be extremely expensive. There's still 250,000 people every year collecting unemployment benefits. That's a lot of people who will be subject to these, these kind of requirements. The Department of Workforce Development says they are still researching the rules given out by the Department of Labor, so there is no timeline for when this could be implemented in Wisconsin. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.